Hi, my name is Holly Honjo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm on a journey to get healthy, exercise more, and lose some weight. I've got about 100 pounds to go. <laughs> also, if you're new to my channel, you're probably wondering why on earth a fat person like me is making workout videos. The truth is, I had looked for workout videos to do that were fun and challenging and suited a body like mine. But I just couldn't find anything. Most workout videos seem to be geared towards people who have some sort of fitness level already or that are a lot slimmer. So I either couldn't keep up or I couldn't physically do the moves, which is why I decided to make my own workouts. And if you're here, that means you're also looking for something similar to what I've been looking for. So here we are. Clearly, I'm not professional. <laughs> um, all the workouts uh, I do are made by me and for my body's capability. I just like to think that by sharing my videos and showing what I do, it can inspire other little fatties um, to either start working out, to work out, to see what they can do, um, and or at least give them a starting point. Today's routine is apartment friendly, which means no stomping and no jumping, which is also fat friendly. It's also gonna be low impact, but that doesn't necessarily mean low intensity. It's also equipment free, so you're just gonna be using your own body weight. Therefore, I'm lifting at least like 100 extra. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy my workout today. It's a full body workout. Uh, we're gonna be trying to hit everything and then we're gonna do some stretches after. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys here again. Okay, thank you. Okay everyone, let's get this party started and begin by warming up. We're just gonna do a few of these. Last one. Okay. Just do some arm rolls backwards. Okay, so we are kicking off circuit number one with some wall work. Um, you can use a wall, a table, a countertop, whatever you have handy. Um, or if you can do it without, um, we're going to be doing stuff with push ups. So you could do push ups on the floor if you want but push-ups on the wall or a counter, higher space, is gonna be easier for you. Um, and then, um, if you don't need to, we're gonna be doing some uh, leg work, which can be standing, and you might not need support, but um, if you want, you can do it, or you could use a chair for the leg exercises as well. We're gonna start circuit number one with some wall push-ups. So legs, um, comfortably apart, hands on the wall, and here we go, we're going to go for 10.
kick back. Five, six, seven, eight, and to the side. The other side, back. And to the side. Last one, 10. Half raises. Five, ten, okay, back to the push up. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can always do it on a lower surface, like a table or a countertop. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to do it on a wall. Those crunches. Stand 
with our left side. Here we go, 10. Nineteen. 
15, 20. Woo! Okay, set three. We're gonna be down on the mat. So if you guys need to get a drink or anything, get a drink and I'm gonna get down on the mat. Welcome to circuit three. We're gonna start with bird dog. We'll be doing 10 of these.
back up for that side plank. Okay, you guys in position. Here we go, 20 seconds, go. Five seconds left. And down. Okay, let's move over to the right side. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. If you want to challenge yourself, you can always put your arm up in the air, make it a little bit more difficult. Back up. 
last one. And back down. We're gonna move into a seated side straddle. Put your legs at a distance that is comfortably apart, uh, sitting upright. Now we're just gonna put our hands like this and then reach to one side. And the remain to center. Turn to center and to the other side. Back to center, other side. Turn to center, back to other side. Center, last one. Center, and last one. Okay, if you need to do any movements, just to, if your body's feeling a bit stiff, we're just doing some circular movements. Breathing in. Let's go the other way. Last one. Okay, let's now bring our legs to a seated butterfly. So sitting upright, just push your thighs down as, as much as you can. If you can bring your feet closer to your groin, um, that's gonna give you a, a deeper stretch. And we're just gonna hold for 15 seconds. Your heel to the ceiling that should give you a nice 
pull on the hamstring and down. Let's do it again on the left side. So pushing your heel up to the ceiling. If you can, straighten the leg and pull it back. If you can't, don't worry. Just do what you can. And down, right leg. And release. Okay, one more time. I think my right leg is definitely tighter than my left leg. My left leg can come so much further. Okay, last time, right leg. Yeah. Wow.